keep in mind that fights in Mordhau take way longer than fights in CS. Yeah, that's um, true. So there's actually a lot of time to rotate and get there and get involved before everyone's dead. We're right, jumping right into this, though. We can continue this discussion um, yeah. at some point, but looks like uh, C CQ are uh, opting to have a recurve archer. I not sure I like the recurve play, especially on defense, but looks like there's going to be an engagement going out of the farm here. After the uh, buff where it's a foot hit kill now, I think it is pretty viable. And get the shots out fast, and you're, if you're a good aim, you're going to get so many packs. I reckon it's pretty viable, but Longbow does seem to be the... Uh, imperialism. Yeah, Imperialism. Using shield hit. Newest to the uh, example our roster. You're gonna ask the players to watch, uh, probably in furnace. You probably want to keep an eye on uh, Raccoon Man as well. Great player. What about Sire? Just got a nice shot on uh, Imperialism. What about Pingu is OP. What do we know about this guy? We know a lot about Pingu. He's always shot up. Uh, his shield. shield gameplay has just been off fucking charts. Everyone in OCE fears this man. What what shield like in OCE? Do, do people rate it there? Um, yeah, the top two teams of the Mason Cup tournament were uh, in uh, Misery and Pingu. Both of those players just absolutely popping off. Uh, yeah, they definitely do rate shield here. Though there's not many. Shield yeah, shield's players. kind of broken right now. I think you can even get stand back per parry or something. Some weird mechanic yeah, to you it. Can, you can get some weird double parry. Uh, Infinite stem. Yeah. What's going on? He's <laughs> gotta say, uh, red team has been pretty dominant in these early on team fights, and they've made some really good time so far. I think on this map, if you're offense, you're aiming at what, like the 11:30, 12 ish time period. That's like the really good time. They got oh, that, that was, at 13. That was very fast. That was yeah. Very, very oh. fast. Was, that, was so, that one push they got that in? I think yeah, one push. Yeah. Uh, see if you're just playing way too loose. Well, it was about two, I guess, because the first push, they got the farm and they lost about half their guys. They yeah. waited and regrouped mid, but very, very dominant stuff while we were talking and got caught up. The whole thing just passed right before our eyes. Let's see the strategy uh, CQ is going to take uh, in regards to defending these uh, these objectives. We don't see any builders coming out, which is strange, because I know in NA, the builder meta is uh, pretty oh, prevalent. Oh, wow, this doesn't look like caught out by three players already. He's forced to drop, but he's met by another player blocking off his escape. 2v2 here with the king. He's getting picks now. It's a plank. If he gets away with just that amount of damage, he got very lucky there. But there's now a second player. Oh, he looks in trouble. CQ player's not showing up to help the king. Just to show up now and manage to uh, save him. EX. He, he did, well played he by Zyre, though. He took damage there, considering he was surrounded for a short period. Exactly. Zyre did well to minimize his damage to 20. Uh... A mistake I see players making a lot when they're playing the King or the Warden is when they get surrounded, they try to parry everything. Don't do that. If you're surrounded, just literally stop parrying for just a second and just start gambling people. Yeah. Oh, wow. He's just walked into a duel here. So he's got completely ambushed by him. Christ. Uh, Pronounced perfect. And he's, uh, let's go down. First Marido behind the door behind and he's walked into another duel. How does he keep getting ambushed like Against this? Against a shield player, too. <laughs> yeah, he's in trouble. The shield's probably... Taking dirty damage. Shield's actually probably very OP against the king, because you don't need to worry about yeah. those insane mall speeds. And he gets up his commander hammer, oh, whatever it's called. Cool. Podium, there's four EX players in this building right now. Not looking Half good this for already. So what we're seeing here right now is... Probably a contender for the number one team. They're currently at the top EX, so definitely. Like, obviously the first Oh game. god, look at that king. He's in trouble. He's dead. Gamble, He's not gamble, out of this. gamble. Yes. Gam yes. Oh, nice. Exactly. Maybe, maybe. He's on one hit though. Oh, yes. Okay, so there survive. we go. Managed to survive with 10 HP. Taking it. Honestly, if that HP is maybe better if he didn't survive, because now you've got one man occupied True. with the king. It's pretty much dead. Yeah, pretty much dead. Uh, Warden's now have already getting... moved on to the Warden. Conj sitting in the corner behind the fire pots here. But yeah, oh, so the king decides to suicide perhaps. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. A lot of times in NA, a lot of teams will just say, okay, he's 1 HP, let's focus the other guy. Yeah. A lot of times that, that player will just kill himself. Look at that, Imperialism's got free reign on the king, but he's just not going for him. He's just uh, dropping down for the warden instead. Kind of signaling the intent there to leave him. Yeah. CQ or Raccoons here with a bit of a... Not the strongest squad, they're missing a couple of good players. 
Yeah, the warden's in trouble. Oh, nice <laughs> He's hiding in one of the cells. This is some role play taking place right here, everybody. Two players knocking on his door. Three now. Three. They got a fire pot ready to burn. Oh, there he oh, goes. Oh, no. no. Is this the end already? <laughs> this is awful. He's running to a new one. Gamble. Stop parrying. Gamble. No, what are you doing, this my lord? This is brutal. Lord? This guy is just getting what? violated yes. in this cell. Another one. Up two. Yes, that's how you do it. Alright, he's survived. 36 so HP, taking up four in the cell. He learned quickly. This People get so too crazy. caught up trying to parry in that situation. You just you have to gamble because you just can't parry four people in that close proximity. You're just no human can do it. You just have to take your advantage and gamble. Now you'd probably think they'd take out the king because both are low HP and the king still can be tricky to get. He's got the the drop downs open to him, way more routes to escape, and that's what they're doing now. It looks like uh, yeah, oh he's dead. Finish him off. They gotta keep one guy in the courtyard though, because this king is gonna try to drop on that little hay roof and go down. But he'll he'll be dead before that. It looks like actually. Yeah, excellent fire pots cutting off rotations there, and he just go down. Yeah, they should have been looking to drop down perhaps. There's yep. only one player, and yep. moving on to kill the warden now. Only two people guarding him. Where's the? It just seem, it seems like CQ don't have enough players. Like, yeah, definitely. Seems like they're here. Um, yeah. They are a bit of a newer team. Considering they're, they're just squad. never in position to defend their objectives. They're just they're always outnumbered. It feels like, yeah. But they do they, they do sweep up this fight though. I mean, credit where yeah, it's due. Yeah, done well to actually survive up till now. I actually like this. So they know there's a lot of routes to get flanked uh, from the ladder and stuff like that, and wrapped all the way around. So they decide to like keep this ward in mobile, keep them moving. <laughs> They've even given him a shield. Can you use the shield and the warden hammer? The uh, warden mace, whatever it's called? Yes, you can. Still works the same. Seems to be every single team's done this so far. And uh... Oh, they've got like a weird... Almost That's oh, no, he's, not great. he's completely <laughs> stuck. <laughs> oh, no. 1 HP. <laughs> coming in. There it goes. <laughs> Love to see the little interesting strat there, but I didn't think the... Uh... Yeah, it didn't really work out for them. Just <laughs> get stuck, then you get burned. Hey, 12 minutes, 46 left. Yeah, very good Gotta time. say, on the CQ side, uh, you really have to feel bad for Zyre because I was watching him most of the time and um, well, while wow, the push was happening there. And really, he he was kind of overextending as the commander. I mean, when you're playing as the commander, you can't take any map control for granted. You have to assume if your teammates don't have control that they're setting up for you. And he just kind of stumbled into 1v1 after 1v1 and just slowly kind of took that damage and just just wasn't a good showing. Yeah. X was just cutting off all his routes. He, he had nowhere to go. Players not showing up on time. End game to the game the CQ it's got to be aggravating for their captain they're kind of they're kind of left there's actually a little bit of a drama here imperialism newer to AX used to be the captain of CQ's old roster Viper squad so he's just beating up on his boys he's just beating up on his boys what the sh what the hell man that's that is actually I... kind of mean I hate to say it AXR and that's yeah, I heard like there's a, a fair amount of drama in OCE. Yep, a lot of drama. Probably where it's a such a small names. scene and very incestuous. You know, the players probably get recycled in between the teams a lot. Yep, that happens. There's been a lot of disbands recently. Big ones you didn't want to see either. What's like the cause of it all? Like, uh, is it just player beefs or...? Yeah, mostly just player beefs. What is the attitude like in the oceanic scene? Are, are people optimistic about the future of the game, or do people just play because it's the game they love? Like, what is yeah, the people are just playing because it's like? the game they love. Like, even the bigger, bigger few teams, A C T, has already been word of these guys not wanting to play much anymore. The only thing they've got going for them is any tournaments that'll be coming up and uh, league. So, yeah. Interesting strat here coming out from. Uh... Tracks is running around with the horse archer taking out all the back peasants. It's actually working out quite well for them. This is actually an incredible strat. I haven't never seen this before. Seen this Come about out. three times oh. in OC now. It seems to be the norm. He's landing everything basically, every shot. 
What do you guys think about these jumping like drop kicks? Jump. He is a Rainbow Six Siege player, so he's got that aim. <laughs> what do you they guys think about that. these? Jumping drop kicks they added to this game. Oh, I love it. They're, they're actually insane. Like, there's a good good amount of skill scenes to them. I didn't didn't think I'd like them at first, but I've been using them a lot. And yeah, lot, lots of mind games you can play there. Like, you can do a jumping kick feint. Uh, you can run away from them to defend yourself. Uh, lo lots of room for strategy. Just jump over an overhand and kick them in the face. You know that always works, right? Yeah, and you got the tier three leg damage as well now. Yeah. Strong, uh, so man. you can do twenty damage jumping flying kicks. Basically, it's Master Jota's wet dream, is what you're telling me. Yeah, pretty spinning, much. <laughs> spinning, jumping kicks are full force. It's two of you so, taking off on Envoy over there, and Furnace and Pingu is OP. Just Traxxas is nuts! Traxxas is insane, man. I'm just watching him like show up on the block and do drive-by shooting. I swear <laughs> to God, this guy was born and raised in Detroit. Or Mongolia. I, he's I think a professional he's just... Mongolian horse archer. He's, he's choking now. You've made him nervous. Yeah, I missed a couple. He's straight up visiting Australia to help put out the fires, but low key, he was born in Detroit. Pull up onto your block and just give you the gotti. Guy's nuts. He's pulled out the blade now. See if he's as competent with that as he is in the horse. Fernandez right? doing a jumping kick there onto him by. Must be said, he down. can't parry to save his career, but he he's got a good shot. Yo, know, he's taken out basically every peasant on the map. They just need to get a few burns in, and that's that. He has 2,100 oh, score right now. Forward! But All this that is it's already taking them marginally longer than uh, the, uh, what was it, the, the EX attack. Yeah, yeah then well, basically one push. They, they got it within 1301, I believe, was the time. So they're roughly a minute behind already. Yeah, yeah and Furnace coming around with a big flank. Just going to mop up the whole team here. One, two kills to Imperialism. And that's another team fight loss. Uh, I don't believe they've got really anyone else. Ninjuring. Yeah, it's usually a mistake to take such a clear engagement like that, because if it goes wrong, as it did just there, you don't have any ninja threats. Whereas if you'd sent just one player around the left, he could get a lot of progress. And uh, I just want to point out real quick, because we failed to notice, the entirety of CQ's team have gotten two kills since this game has started. <laughs> Pingu's yeah, kind of taking a bit of a stinker. Oh, look at that Infernus 10. Oh, though. Pingu taken out by a big jump kick. Raccoon That's Man. Three kills, Pingu, on the board. Getting a good fight in. Three kills, can we make it four? We got Sire up here. Taking on a 1v3. Trax is doing excellent in this 2 one. He's probably not going to win it, but still great survivability. Yeah, honestly, it probably would have been better call just a suicide but still very yep. good hold there by Traxxas. Maybe he just wanted to show us that he actually rebound his right mouse button and <laughs> now he's, he learned how to parry again. Uh, That's really really dominant. This is just a lockout. Look, look at Maino just running around role playing. He's, he's lost his mind. This is what he's uh, <laughs> been forced to do. Furnace is at a big 15 and 0. He is just absolutely straight wiping. 15 and 0, wow, he got like 5 kills in the last 30 seconds. Like 2 men up on Cats are coming uh, in. Oh, well. perfect. Gets a triple. Wow, Zaya, triple kill Ooh. with the catapult. That's that's what they needed right there to close this objective out. Come on. Denied his just... for a sprint. Gotta take the left pyre. It's one they just single-handedly doubled their entire team's kill count right there. Look That's Infernus, nice. he's still surviving. He's not going down. He refuses to die. He's a he's dead still eye. Alive. He's still alive. Insane. 2v1 for that long. 17 and 0 right now. As a good friend of mine once said, poopy stinky. No, I can't do this now. <laughs> was, that, was that friend Ager by any chance? <laughs> no, he goes by the name of Gang. Interesting. Just need a few more torches out. How is Infernus not dead yet? It just continues to puzzle strong, me. Strong, strong player. 18 kills now. Can he get to 20? Infernus is slapping more yeah. cheeks than Johnny Sins in his prime, dude. I'm telling you, this guy is N-U-T-S nuts. 18 and 0. Oh. Through this first objective. 
I wonder if Infernus is going to manage to get a tactical <laughs> nuke and call it and in yeah, this that, match right here. That's the plan right there. Denied getting a TK to throwing axe is really not looking good for CQ. Tried a pull and roleplay there, didn't quite work out for him. Not yeah. a guy who's in the negative. Denied actually, since this game started, <laughs> no, Denied has actually kill. only done harm to his own team. Sadly, this guy... with the with the broadness of the skill levels in OCE, we do get games like this quite often. It's the game yeah, like I mean, the same in EU as well. This is what happens when you still got a few shiv vets lying around. Yeah. Some, uh, some poopy stink stink. <laughs> He's trying to get muted. Infernus! Clapping cheeks, yeah. dude! Wow, Look at him go! 20, 23 kills. All right. Oh, one more. I, I actually can't keep track. I was about to say he's got 20 kills now, but within that time, he's now got 24 kills. <laughs> Guy needs to be controlled. I'm starting to think, Infernus, if you put all of all of the red team in L House, Infernus might be able to 1vx. It looks that way, yep. Yeah. Oh, nice, jump nice jump kick. Last damn nice drag. drag there as well. If you put both these teams in prison, we know who's taking whose role, you know? Like, we know which one of these teams is uh, taking your lunch money, you, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, big hurt by any chance? Uh, that's a negative, Ghost Rider. 25! Okay. Tactical nuke! Right. Ben is gonna call it in around 7 minutes and 42 seconds. Tactical nuke will end the game. <laughs> right, you, you joke, but it probably is almost game in terms of like the times. I don't know how much... Uh, what do they finish on? I don't think it's possible to win at this I point. I don't think I am, yeah. I don't think it is possible to just, win. Um, you can see in the way they're playing that they're utterly defeated. Yeah. yeah. We'll this let, is really brutal. So, we'll let Raccoons call it when they want, but we can play it out for a little bit so we can get any nice highlights. Right. Yeah. Content. Kind of messed up. We're just letting them get murdered just for our own <laughs> entertainment. <laughs> Infernus is finally gonna die here, maybe. He has low stamina, it's a no, 1v3. I believe it. He's, this guy doesn't die, it's not in his. Alright. No, no! And. Uh, so, so Infernus dies and they get the objective. There's, the, the is key. there a correlation here? Does causation equal correla correlation? 26 kills. And next down, 17 kills. God, look at that. Brutal. Yeah, it, uh, Infernus has kind of gotten the limelight because he just dropped a big, poopy, stinky tactical nuke, but Vengeance has been right there next to him, smacking kids as well. This is honestly like Mike Tyson in his prime, just boxing some Down Syndrome kids, and it, it's so much fun to watch. Jeez. <laughs> what an analogy. Him, Christ, is literally dancing in the courtyard, just watching his opponents get murdered. He's doing a stinky like. You could stank you with it, you could say. <laughs> Mafia on a one in there, bud. Full send. Look at that, he's just stunting around the map now. I'm pretty sure some of these these blue team members could fall out of bed and kill him. <laughs> wow. See that, a raccoon man? I'm pretty sure Infernus could fall out of bed and kill a couple CQ members. <laughs> I'm, I'm convinced. <laughs> Yeah, it's looking that way. Dude just like, he, he misclicks and he gets two kills. <laughs> Hope there aren't any CQ fans in the audience. <laughs> yeah, everyone's just burning their CQ jerseys right now. That's actually kind of disrespect. We used to have a team, I think they lasted since Shiv Conquest. Uh, used to run this tag, CQ dot. Uh, what these guys are doing, uh, memeing up. Oh! Role playing. Later in furnace. Stand, so really putting disrespect on the name. Yeah, it's always sad to see like a, an old team get, uh, sort of lose its, lose its prestige with a newer band of players. You can't, you kind of seeing it with Tempest and NA. Uh, Tempest no longer the team they once were. Strong and Shiv. Awesome. Well, what, what, what happened to Tempest would be like if VK were to lose, like, Frank and Giru or Frank and Stouty. That is like the equivalent of what happened to Tempest. I mean, you lose your two, two or three superstar players, and all of a sudden, it's just a totally different feel. And then Cyclone, 
uh, managed to split, and it's just a really unfortunate situation. But you got to keep in mind, Tempest dominated Melee Esports and NA for, you know, what, like five years, six years? Yeah, it's strange that they had top players would decide to leave, though. Like, I mean, I guess just kind of outpaced them and then became the safer bet for those two players, whoever they were, to... Did, did they get poached or did they just quit the game? Well, Wizard Edition Go had some real life situations that came oh, up yeah, and kind of prevented them from playing. Out, yeah. yeah, and Cyclone, after Wizard Edition and Goat left, it just kind of felt like, you know, I I guess he was used to playing on a certain caliber of team with certain caliber of teammates, and when when all of a sudden you're expected to be the team's super carry, you just really can't replace those players and. I guess he decided that playing with the, you know, the highest caliber players NA has to offer was, and you know, he, he deserves it. He's a top tier player, so North is definitely going to be dominant in NA for for the immediate future. What's the leaderboards in NA looking at like uh, right now? Uh, I I haven't been competing the last month or two, but North is undoubtedly number one. I think Uwu or in the Inquisitors or whatever number two, oh, wow. and. Number three and four, I'm actually not entirely sure. Um, I don't know. I'd have to ask around about that. So in N NA, Uwu is actually tied with North both on 12 points. And Tempest are on eight points. Uh, yeah. Hierarchy North coming in behind them. NA is, is very top heavy there. right now. The two top teams. So the way it is right now, actually, it's, it's strange in NA. The two top teams, North and Uwu, they have a total monopoly on all of the truly talented and skilled players. I mean, all of the great players are in those teams. And like the it's a very top-heavy scene right now. And yeah, it's going to be interesting to see the, that match. Uh, I guess it hasn't taken place yet since neither of those teams have uh, had a loss. So, I think North will be back. spanking Uwu if, if you want to yeah. NA player's prediction. I, I don't think any team can touch North right now. I think Does Ren is absolutely right. disgusting, and Blonde is one of the best players I've ever seen. And uh, then you got players like Huggles, who's more of a specialty player, and Cyclone, who, you know, he's very well rounded. And that's just a solid lineup that no one's going to be getting through for a while. But meanwhile, we're just. Sorry for the tangent, but it's just kind of a slaughter, you know, not much to say. Well, this game, I think, finished on time about five minutes ago, yeah? Yeah, Infernus is 41-3, and three, and one of his deaths was due to his teammates smacking him in the head, so... <laughs> oh my god, he's 41. I did not even notice. It's been GG for a while, but I'm just saying before I play it out. And this discussion's got me, uh... Got me I feel the comeback. I feel the comeback, he says. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta admire the spirit. Conjures are uh, very passionate about this game, so uh, I don't blame them. How many kills is Infernus on now? 42 and 3. Love to see it. Oh! oh. Nice kill by uh, Conj there, taken out by Infernus though. Infernus can do no wrong, I mean... He could slip on some straight up black ice in the middle of the winter and wipe out two legs of CQ. He could crash his car into their family's houses by accident. Right. If you get what I'm saying, he's wrecking them real hard. That's oh, yeah, what I'm getting at. Let's just say Infernus is the meteor that killed the dinosaurs, and CQ are looking like some Velociraptors. That's a good one. I like that one. Velociraptors is fairly intimidating, though. Well, the king is kind of in trouble, but he hasn't exactly been playing it. The most serious, he's been like bunny hopping around. Look, we've always seen uh, him crashed on King every game so far, so. I think he's about to the toolbox. Really. Well. Oh, oh no. He might be dying here. Building some King size spikes as they change as well. <laughs> Does the spikes actually scale? Oh, he goes down. They, do. they do look bigger than normal, I'm not sure. Furnace is in a 1v3. Does he finally die again to the hands of his enemies? Probably not. <laughs> 13 stamina, he's he's not even scared, he's just like, oh, he's the song. that's enough. Oh, he's, luckily his team was there to back him up. Well, Raccoon Man, if you find yourself in combat and mortal, it sometimes it helps to parry. So is, is the NA matches, is that uh, tomorrow? I think S so. Saturday? Yep, it'll be uh, then, uh, sun tomorrow. You Sunday, right? Yeah, just checking. Funny to be waking up at a specific hour. 
You gotta feel bad for CQ here. I mean, I I know it feels bad when you're trying to win and the other team is just cruising to a victory and you can tell they're not even trying. Just put yourself in the shoes of Mino, right? You've played a game for 20 minutes. You've gotten a grand total of one kill. You killed a single soul. I mean, he's doing better than Mort did in his uh, league match. I believe he went 0-20 at one point. God. Yeah, Shout out Mort. to Mort. <laughs> Mort's an interesting character. I mean, he somehow really or another, a very average competitive player, probably even below average, got himself on like the number two team in NA. Just, I don't, I, I truly don't understand. He, he just maxed out his charisma stat. That's all he did. Yeah, exactly. Or luck, I don't know. And the funny thing is, everyone in NA knows if you ever find yourself in a fight with Mort, all you have to do is do an underhand feint and you've secured victory. That being said, I've actually uh, first attended Mort on NA and all right, he beat me the first time, I did beat him the second time, but he's not actually that bad of a player, at least with Bastard Swords. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'd say he's on par with Smile, because uh, Smile... No, I... no, Smile's much better. You say that, but I faced Smile in a dual tournament, beat him 10-3. Mort, yeah, first but, time I but faced him, Yeah, but there is him, such thing me. as a playstyle matchup, though. That is a thing, right? Like. If you put, if you take Smile and Mort, and you put them up against NA players, I guarantee you Smile will fare better than Mort in duels. I oh, think yeah, Mort would sure. probably even agree with that. The thing is, like, uh, what I'm saying is Mort, you know, he, was, he did better than I thought he would. Like, I thought this guy would be a complete pushover, but uh, not actually too bad. Well, that fire pot's actually perfectly placed. There's a lot of interesting characters in NA Mortal. Thank God, uh, it just tends to be a whole thing with Mortal. Everyone has interesting players, interesting characters. You kind of have to be a bit weird, to, like uh, oh God, playing this genre. Lost the horse to the hole. <laughs> the hole is cleaned. <laughs> Victim. Horse in the hole is my Native American name. I'll let you put that one together. Like the barricade there on the doors, getting two guys in front of it. Echo asks, asks, st stouty thoughts on Shiv 2. Hmm. Um, yeah, I hope it's good. I have my doubts. I, I don't think the melee's ever going to be better than Mordhau, seeing as Mordhau was tested for like, two years by us guys. Um, I think that might be the problem, though, in all honesty. So the, the, the problem with esports, and not specifically you, I'm talking like... Whenever, whenever they design an eSport game or a video game, if you look back in history, whenever the developers allow the players to design the game, it's not usually for the better. I mean, I'll use Counter-Strike as, as an example, you know? Like, they take advice from competitive players to an extent, but at the end of the day, they make decisions for the... And they try to balance it, I guess, for, like, the casuals and for competitive, and it ends up being a better experience. I don't think professional players don't understand necessarily how to make the game good and balanced. They just understand how to play it really well. And I think we have to stop putting so much influence on the top tier players designing the melee system. But that's just my two cents. We'll have well, to see when that comes out though, like so far with saying that they do have well, knowledge there's... on how the games work. There's a certain amount of input that competitive All players right. should have. I, I don't doubt that. It's just, uh, I think, too much, and you get players that are competitive trying to design the game too much only for what That's they true, want. But Crush <laughs> generally does what Crush wants, you know? He doesn't. Oh, Crush is lost, <laughs> no doubt. And we actually saw CQ finish the game there. Uh, EX losing. Yeah, last 30 seconds or so. Warden. Anyway, that's it for today. So we had. Uh... Oh, we actually won that first match. Uh. Crabby Thugs winning over AE, and then EX winning over Raccoon Squad. So thanks again, Turned guys. into a little bit of a podcast. Sorry about that, but hope you guys had fun. Ah, hope uh, the topics might have been interesting. <laughs> that was all good, guys. Any any discussions good, honestly. Uh, thanks to Stouty and Muff for casting today. Uh, tomorrow for we have thanks for us. NA, and on Sunday we have EU. Thanks very much. And we'll catch you guys awesome. later. See you guys around. See you chat. Sure.